Arctic sucks. Bonjour mes amis, hi guys, uh, following up on my presentation of uh, my recently acquired GMT Master 2 uh, Rolex. I had actually completely forgotten that, that uh, when I bought the watch yesterday, they gave me the actual service paper of the watch. The service was done last September at Rolex itself, right here, just a few hundred meters from uh, my office. And um, well, everything uh, is explained in, uh, in great details. So the model number, yes, it is a 16760, the uh, Sophia uh, Lauren. GMT uh, Master 2 serial number starting uh, well confirms what is uh, between the, the lugs it's uh, 9.6 uh, million uh, range got the bracelet reference and the dial reference now the work that has been done uh, to make it up to the Rolex uh, specifications complete overhaul Price is in Hong Kong dollars, so uh, one US dollar is a 7.84 Hong Kong dollar at the moment. So you know, 7,000 is about uh, one 1,000 uh, US uh, dollar, and the total price uh, 9,500. Uh, that's uh, that's going to be uh, a little over a uh, thousand dollar uh, exactly. Some uh, yeah, 1,200 uh, dollar. So complete overall 7100, uh, that's uh, taking apart the whole movement, clean the bracelet, indeed absolutely uh, absolutely beautiful, just like, just like new as I was saying in my uh, first video, uh, refinish the, the bracelet, replaced, uh, replace a fitting uh, that's over a hundred uh, dollar for for that, and this is the um, model number. I'm not quite sure what that would be. It might be the the end link or something related to bracelet. Certainly, the case back here looks like it's been uh, replaced. A few replaced uh, replaced parts here. Uh, clean the case. Refinish the case. So there you go. The refinish has been done by Rolex, Rolex up to their uh, standards trying to keep some uh, symmetry on uh, each side and uh, yeah those uh, crown guards is uh, that's the way they approach it replace some uh, case parts pretty pretty cheap um, replace the the crystal see it's one clue I had um, uh, I think the original crystal of the that reference would have been a bit thicker. This might be a crystal more for uh, the sixteen uh, seven one zero. Uh, the um, that you would need to be an expert really to tell the difference. Uh, but this is the uh, crystal reference, and uh, they replaced the disc for the the bezel, four hundred and fifty dollar. That's why it looks brand new. So. There you go. I mean, it's been done by uh, by Rolex. Obviously, the vintage character is uh, is gone. This is up to modern spec with um, replace. I don't see anything about the um, the the dial. It's possible that the dial itself had been uh, replaced already uh, before. This is what I was suspecting. Uh, maybe you know it was a service already uh, some 20 years ago I, I would I would have, have assumed you know late 2000s mid 2000s uh, unless uh, maybe something here fitting bracelet yeah I don't think anything indicates that here this time they replaced the dial uh, itself it could be yeah it could could be this uh, because of the, the of the of the price, um, but yeah, it's not quite quite clear. Um, could be that the dial was replaced in a previous uh, service. So there you go, very well maintained. Yes, the vintage character is uh, is not there, but as long as it's done by a uh, Rolex, uh, then you can feel comfortable, and uh, most importantly, uh, you know that it passes there expectations in terms of uh, accuracy water uh, resistance 
and uh, and everything else so there you go i think it's uh very I interesting and uh makes you feel good knowing that uh, it's been uh, it's got some provenance now it's been in the hands of the rolex service center this is a watch which is a radio again for for service great everyday watch very comfortable very beautiful thanks for watching guys bye bye